Hello and welcome. <laughs> welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space that I prepared for us today. <clears throat> I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia. Here to do your daily pick a card. Right now I am shuffling our card of the day. I'm going to go ahead and do that here for a sec. <clears throat> we are shuffling Healing the Mind and Spirit Cards by Dr. Brian L. Weiss. I'm going to go ahead and give him a good heart shuffle here. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the deck and draw your card of the day from the bottom. Get that bottom energy here. <clears throat> and your card of the day is... I balance giving and receiving love in my life. I balance giving and receiving love in my life. Let's see what the other side says. You have to learn to receive love as well as give love in order to grow. You have to be able to receive love or learn to receive love as well as to give love in order to to grow. Well, I don't have anything to add to that necessarily. Sounds like a good, uh, sounds good to me. I also feel that way about, well, let's go on. I said I didn't have anything to add. And honestly, let's just, let's just see what we have. So I haven't kind of, I, I haven't really gone over how to do this. And I know most of you do, but if there's anyone here that's never done a pick a card, um, basically you pick your card topper here and then I have timestamps below in the description so that you can just click on that timestamp and go to directly to your card of the day. Um, I often try to integrate the thought of the day in with the card of the day, but I do not integrate the cards with one another as I would with a more private personalized reading and you can definitely um, look at my info. There's lots of ways to get with me if you want a reading. Um, I will say the most inexpensive way is to actually go through my website. Um, and, and, but it's, it's also fine to come see me on Keen as well. Okay, so if you need more time, well, actually, I haven't even shown you the card topper. So let me go ahead and do that. Um, First, we have a gray rock, or gray heart, and it looks just like a gray stone until you see it in the light, reflecting and refracting light in such a way that we have these beautiful, sparkly blue and green colors just shooting out of it. Very exciting. This is my obsidian heart. It was a beautiful, beautiful gift from a secret Santa who is actually someone that turns out is just way more than a secret Santa. Let's just say that. <laughs> way more special than just any old secret Santa. This right here, you know, I've said that it was glass before, but uh, I think it might actually be polished, polished selenite, which... Um, I've heard it called selenite, which I don't like because that rhyme, 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 reminds me of cellulite. <laughs> but also because uh, the Greek pronunciation of selene is selene. And if selenite is an old word, I think it'll... E, anyway, the beginning E would be long. But, well, it doesn't matter. It's pronunciation. Everybody has their own, right? As long as we can understand one another, that's... That's the important part. So we also have this. I do believe that this is a uh, howlite. You know, I didn't say the first gray rock, I think is labradite, but this I believe is howlite. All right, so now here's the time to go ahead and pause the video if you wanna take more time to pick your card topper or your card. Um, yeah, go ahead and do that. I'm going to have a sip of coffee while you look. Maybe that'll be enough time. Mm, mm. Now is also... Mm. Oh, that's delicious hot coffee. 
um, a good time to hit the thumbs up button if you're liking this video so far. If you hit the thumbs down button, I do expect a comment. <laughs> because I want to know. Um, of course, I love all, all comments, any and all of you. Uh, I owe Lavina a, a comment. I know she commented yesterday, and I didn't get a chance to say anything back yet, but I'm really excited about you, Lavina. Um, also, I think that's it. I think let's go ahead and start. Let's see what's under this beautiful... Labradite. Oh, I got a good, there it is. There's a good, there's a good shine on that. Let's see what you have. What do you have? Okay, so you have the three of pentacles today. This has a lot to do with your, um, your potential. Um, especially when we're talking about either work or even your highest calling. And one of the messages of this card is that oftentimes we find our highest calling in our work. And if we're not feeling it, then we might need to find some other work or some other way outside of work to meet our spiritual callings. Um, that's not exactly what this card says. I kind of went off on a tangent, but, um, it, it does, it does say that to an extent. What am I talking to you today about is what's important though. Um, <clears throat> this is just letting you know that now is a really good time to look at where you are, especially when it comes to whether you have a job or don't have a job what your experience is, and do you need more education? Think about what you would like to be doing, um, whether it be a spiritual calling or a job calling or whether you want to mix those two. That is something that I have been lucky and able to do in my lifetime is to have my job and my highest spiritual calling be one in the same. That's, that's very fortunate. That's something that, that, that I've been able to do. Not everybody can do that. Um, so I guess if I had a message for you today is to really kind of go over and consider what it is you need to do so that you can land where you want to land next. Make, think, don't even limit yourself. Give yourself some wild room to take, get some wild ideas, okay? Think Michelangelo. <laughs> um, I say that because Michelangelo is mentioned in the, um, in the book, in the description of this card. So you have to learn and to receive love as well as give love. Just remember that, especially if someone offers to pay for some training or for some education. Uh, remember that as you receive love, that giver receives a blessing as well. All right, let's see what we have under the obsidian. Heart. And we have the Five of Wands. And this card really is all about play. But it's not just about play. It's about play and debate. It's about, you know, the... I've been around a while. And when I was a kid, it was considered scientists considered animals at play to be kind of, oh, maybe not necessarily a thing. <laughs> and so oftentimes when we would watch these National Geographic um, films at school, they would say, it appears that the otters are playing. It would appear. So basically, um, it was thought of that any kind of play, anything that looked like play that an ant little animal did really had something to do with training them for work. And in a way, that's still true. And we're also little animals, us, peoples. <laughs> 
so what I'd like to say, and this is this is, can also represent debate. It can also represent, um, you know, uh, banter things like that. A lot of people like to learn from arguing and with, with, um, oh, family gatherings, which may or may not be happening. <laughs> um, try to take it as playfully as possible. See, see what you can do. Hmm. Yeah, this has been, this is kind of hard. Let's, let's see what, what we have. If we put it, you have to learn to receive love as well as give love in order to grow. And I just like to say, kind of take yourself with a grain of salt over the next day or so. Just kind of try to make everything more playful rather than more serious. Make it less serious and more playful. Um, and as far as love is concerned, well, Love should be a part of our lives at all times, 24-7. If we're not receiving it, we should be giving it. And that's a little harsher. <laughs> that's kind of a harsh way to say what this card says, but that's how I, that's how I feel. If, if we feel we're lacking in love, then it's something that we need to um, either put out into the world or give to ourselves. I think loving ourselves is extremely important. And here we are with this beautiful green heart. And you have the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. You know, this card really is the epitome of this thought. Um, in this card, you have a person giving, you have a person receiving. You have a person um, awaiting receipt, it looks like. You have a person balancing the scales. You have a lot going on here. But what this card really means to me has a lot to do with philanthropy, with a lot to do with charity. And I always think of um, charity in the way not something that's just not something that's just given to show off it's more given in love it's more about love i don't know i'm having trouble finding my words today <laughs> but uh, let me start again with this card okay to me this card is about charity and to me charity is something very particular it has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with showing off how much you're giving or getting any kind of reward or blessing in return. Charity has everything to do with the true love of Christ. I like to say the true love a mother has for her infant or for her child, even. When a mother gives to her child, it is not a thing that she needs something back in return. It's not something... Anyway, I think you get the, I think you get the general drift. And I guess I have to fess up and let you know that one of the reasons why I'm feeling a little off today and I'll do that at the end of the video because I'm not ready to talk about that now but if you want to know why this video seems a little a little I don't know moody <laughs> okay so if you picked the how light then we have the eight of rods and this is one of my favorite cards the eight of rods has a lot to do with a lot of energy. So if you think of these as, as magic wands, there's eight magic wands. <laughs> now, the energy goes back and forth, and energy is something that feeds us, and it's something that we give out into the world as well. It is real. And to me, with this card, it's often a getting back to basics card. It can also... Um, 
be like a goals card, but what I think of is energy and what blocks energy and what helps energy to flow. And as a witch, I will tell you that one of the first things a witch will tell you to do before you do anything else, before you learn a spell, before you before you craft your grimoire, before you um, anything, before you cook a meal, before you anything, you clean house. So what do you need to clean in order for energy to flow through today um clean your house clean your desk clean your office clean out from under your bed clean your closets sweep your porch that is why a witch has a broom <laughs> these could all be implements of cleaning <laughs> they could all represent that um brooms dusters mops <laughs> It could, but I really think more it's, it is it is about getting back to basics. And when I'm talking about cleaning, I am talking about literal cleaning, but I am also talking about, um, oh, see, I'm having trouble with my words again. Um, not just literal cleaning, but actually like what, what, you know, cleaning your mind, cleaning your body even. That's what I always have with this card. And when you have to learn and when you are learning to receive love as well as give love to grow I don't know that I mean love is one of those energies one is definitely one of those energies and I can tell you that in the ritual of cleaning my body to me that is self-love so Think on that a bit. And I did promise I was going to mention why I am, this reading might be a little less energetic than others, maybe. I lost my companion friend of over 13 years, my cat, Tipton, my sweet little deer. He was a Mancoon mix that was presented to me 13 years ago. And he crossed the Rainbow Bridge last night. This card reading is something that helps me every single day. And the fact that you guys are here makes a huge difference to me. I don't want to bring you down. Um, but I did want to let you know what was going on. Because it's only fair, if I think of you as my friends, to let you know about things that happen like this. Anyway, I hope this was exactly just what you needed to hear. Please do take what resonates with you, but leave the rest. And don't make life-altering decisions or changes based on any pick-a-card reading, not even this one. Do connect with me on my other media platforms listed in the description. And book for a personal reading. And also now would be a really great time to push that little button and subscribe. Thank you so much. Love you guys.